Hi, I had an email from a student asking about creating the citations for the summary responses this weekend and so this is going to be a bit of a longer video. I've got all my windows loaded but I want to walk you through it. So you're creating two citations for two summary response entries. Um, this first citation is the Meadows Randers Meadows article which I've linked to the assignment page and um, before I go to Purdue Al, I just want to show you that if you go to the very bottom of the page, you'll see right here it's highlighted. This is the publisher, okay? And that's what you, where you usually look for the publisher's name is at the very bottom of the page. So the publisher for this article is, is called the Academy for Systems Change. Um, the other information is all at the top of the page. So how do you build your citation? Well, um, I've given you two ways. One is the Purdue OWL and one is Noodle Tools Express. So if you want to use Purdue OWL, um, you go to, I, I did a search, which I'm not sure I can get back to because my little arrow is hidden, but I just searched Purdue OWL MLA pages and I get here. And what I really am interested in is this left hand menu which is like a table of contents and because I'm working with an electronic source, an article that is published online, I'm going to go to this chapter here, MLA Works Cited Electronic Sources. And because I'm working with an article that is a web page, I'm going to go right down to this scenario here, a page on a website. And I'm going to grab this example and I'm going to stick it over here where I'm building my Works Cited sheet. Um, but I'm also going to keep in mind that I need all of this information or at least all the elements from this list that I can, I can dig up. I'm going to include those elements in the citation. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and put this list over here too. So now I go back to my article. I know I'm going fast, but you can always pause. I go back to my article and I'm looking for all the pieces. I've got the article titled Tools for the Transition to Sustainability. I've got the author, Meadows, Randers, and Meadows. You want to use their full names, of course. I've got the date. Um, it's actually from a book. So, but we're just going to cite it as an article from this web page here. And so we'll, we'll just use 2004 as the date. Oh, no. What's this, dear folks? No, we're going to use 2004 as the date. All right. And then I'm going to go back to my list. So that's our author check. We got that article check. We got that title of website. Let's see. What's the title of the website? It's called the Donella Meadows Project Academy for Systems Change is the name of the website. I'm going to go down to the very bottom and double check that too. Yeah, the Donella Meadows Project, a project for the Academy for Systems Change. That's, that's the name of the website. So that's what I'm going to use there. So I've got the website name. We don't have a version number. We have publisher information. I already showed that to you. No page numbers. And then um, you can include the URL if you'd like, right? The address in, in the little search box at the very top that begins with HTTPS or www. Um, and you can include the date you access the material. Let's see, it's not required, but you can include that. Okay, so then you go and you, you create your, your entry, you know, um, Donella, I forget, I actually forget the first names, but you want to put the last name first, so you're going to go and get those names and put them exactly in with the first one, um, the first name, there are three authors, the first name should start with the last name, I can just copy and paste. And then the second two names go in this order. Then you, just like my little model here, the article title, and then the publisher, and then the URL, 
and then the access date, and I think that's that's what we've got. And so you build it this way, and you go and do the same with the other the other article, which is the prologue from this book. I just I searched David Suzuki's The Sacred Balance, and I I got to this Amazon site, and when I look inside, I can get all the information I need. I'm I'm actually citing a book, right? I've got my my published your information, if I can scroll down just a tiny bit. Got my date, it's right, it's right there on the back, 2002. So this is this is how you do it. Um, you kind of, you, you, you use the Purdue OWL, you grab your models. Um, for the book, I'm gonna go to this one, this chapter here, MLA Works Cited Books. How do, how do I cite a book? It's the easiest kind of source to cite. Um, here's the template. I'm going to bring the template right over and I'm just going to fill fill it in. Suzuki, David, Sacred Balance, and etc. Alright, so that's, that's the one way. The other way to do it is to go to Noodle Tools. I just searched Noodle Tools Express. Go to MLA choose the kind of citation. In this case, it's a, well, for the first one, it's a website. For the second one, it's a book. And then you go and you fill in, you fill in fields. I like the Purdue Owl way better. I find it's, it's quicker. It's, it's less hassle for me, but um, a lot of students I find like to use these, these engines.